Welcome to the 611 Films Podcast. I'm Neil McKay. With me is David Groves. We are the hosts. And here yeah. we are. Post Oscars. It's like we got to do this every year. So we just watched well, we the started 20, with the Oscars, 20s. You know? That's right. This was our fir- the first podcast we ever did was right after the Oscars. And now that was three years ago. So now we're 2023, the 95th Academy, of, uh, Academy Awards. Uh, and what, we're just going to do like some thoughts and be like, yo, what'd you think? Um, yeah, no, yeah. no drama this year. There's no mm. people getting slapped. <laughs> so, yeah. They didn't need I that was, security team. They didn't need any secure. They didn't yeah. need bouncers and, and, and areas rose. They didn't need Michelle Yeoh I, to like Kung Fu fight. Something yeah, just in case. I was, cr- I was cracking up. I was cracking up at the beginning when Jimmy Kimmel was like, all right, if, if you're going to come up here, you got to get through these people. And then it was cutting to like Michelle Yeoh and like Pedro Pascal. And like that, that was just cracking me up because they were like, yeah, mm-hmm, watch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> and then at the end, he's got the little sign. It's been one uh, telecast without incident, you know? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right when good, they like yeah. ended the show. Mm-hmm. So, that was um, good. But yeah, he had, he had a few, he was, he had a few digs at Will Smith. So I was like, um, I mean, you can't not yeah. do it, but uh, I, I would say like he, uh, I think the opening with Jimmy Kimmel was very much, and I don't think Jimmy Kimmel's ever had like, it's unfortunate that, you know, he's been hosting for three years now and then, or they didn't have the hosts like two, two years prior where they were in downtown LA, I think. That's right. But yeah. It was like when he hosted that like second time or whatever it was. That was when Moonlight won. Like he's had mm-hmm. these issues of like I'm a host and ooh, yikes. I felt this one was very much like you said they brought the host back. It, they brought all the categories back. It was very much like this is how it usually is. Like it's not the last couple of years have been kind of wonky with like the yeah, location yeah. and no hosts and just how they did it. And this one felt a little bit more like what we are used to. Yeah, and they even said it too. It's like we're bringing back. Like I, I think I told you, or I mentioned, it was like, yeah, remember, like, like they they cut out this category, that category. I mean, it still went a little bit over tonight, but at the same time, it's like, yeah, bring back. I mean, editing wise, that was a really cool like thing. Like with uh, for both of us as as editors, it's nice to get that right. recognition. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, because that was like one of the ones they were going to take away, right, or something. Yeah, they took away yeah. like the, just putting it on broadcast. Like they gave it to them, or they 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 ran more commercials or something. Like getting rid of. Oh yeah, uh, I know. The, the yeah, it's I, I. I mean, I I've said it over and over again. Just if you want to cut categories, cut the three shorts. I mean, I don't even understand why they're there. I mean, yeah. they did have that section. I don't know if you saw. Like, oh, we had this brunch. We had this thing where this person won, that person won. It was like, yeah. They, I didn't even they realize how many. That. How many, how many mm-hmm. Oscar things do they do before the actual yeah, Oscars? There's, oh, yeah. There's, like, a ton of, like, technical awards that, like, you know, really specific kind of stuff. I, I thought I thought they always did that. They did a little thing, like, oh, here are the other people. Yeah, won, yeah. And, I like, mean, the big, away. big, yeah, the big, like, stuff with more mm-hmm. visual effects or more of that, like, sound maybe. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Right, getting into the, into the weeds with that. But um, I don't know. One thing I was going to mention is – and. Uh, I saw the, um, there's, a, I'm looking at a picture. I'll, I'll, I'll try to put this up like, so you could see the graphic, but there was, um, the number of televisions watching the Oscars over the last, uh, 20 years. And mm-hmm. from like 2002 to, to about around 2016, 2017, it's always like in the thirties, 30 million, like 32 million, 38 million is but consistently between 30 and 40 million. And then mm-hmm. in 20, 2018, 2019, uh, it started to dip into the high 20s. And then not last year, but the year before, it was 10.4 million. That's like less than a third of, of, of the typical. And then last year, uh, it went up to 15. So is it, I mean, I just think it's like crazy. Like it's just more than, it's gone down like yeah. half the viewership. I think I've said this before too, to you, to anybody. It's like, yeah, we're we're, we're just kind of getting very stale with this stuff. Like Oscars to me is just like, this is the biggest night of the year. But with Golden Globes, Emmys, uh, SAG Awards, this, that, it's like people these days just don't give a shit, you know? Yeah. Oh, they, yeah, they don't. And I, I mean, and I know there's a lot of the, um, you know, pandemic stuff that people are like, the last thing they want to see is, you know, Hollywood, you know, kissing yeah, each other. Yeah, patting themselves on the back like, so, after making yeah. so much money. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah so it's kind of come to a head and it's like, and I don't know, I don't know what they would do to, to get the viewership back. I mean, maybe it just eventually comes back on its own now that people are, you know, going back to the movies and, you know, taking more. Well, the viewership time. was basically, and again, I'm, I'm not saying like, I, I think the movies respectively to all the other movies too. So it's like, it, it's what I'd hear from like my family. It's like, Oh, that was the biggest movie of the year, but that's not nominated. Like this year it is top gun and we have avatar and we, you know, uh, of right. course these indie movies have hit, but it's like so many times over the last like three or four years these days, it's like, they're just a lot of very independent films with issue pieces and <clears> a lot of issue stuff. And big movies that make a lot of money at the box office don't get nominated. I think they, right? I mean, they got look, a, Top Gun um, was good. Top Gun, I mean, Avatar, like the, the 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 respective categories that they were in. Sure, they were. So I, so I've only seen I think Top Gun, everything, uh, everywhere, uh, and then I've the, seen Banshees. Uh, oh, Banshees, I saw. But I was going to say, I've only seen of the ten nominated. I've only seen like three of them. So. Um, Okay. Like, and there's, I mean, there's some I really want to see, like tri like Triangle Sadness looks cool. I haven't seen The Whale yet. I mean, that wasn't nominated for Best Picture, but you know, some of yeah, those movies yeah. um, I just haven't gotten a chance to see. Um, and I don't know how you feel about that. When I don't know how many years ago they went to ten movies from five, but I don't like it because it takes some of the prestige out. Like now you're the top ten movie, not the top yeah. five, and and you know like which ones are not winning, like. Yeah, it, it, it's just such a silly thing to do more picture winners right. at, at the end of yeah, it, just to do it, just to say like, hey, we did yeah. do the big popular movies with all the oscar -y kind of ideas for, uh, you know, actors, writing, directing, uh, you know, it's yeah. just sort of like, but it's, like, it's kind of not... making a case to showcase these movies. I mean, look, even Tom right. Cruise and James Cameron weren't there because they knew we're not winning yeah and, and i mean and if, if it's not nominated for best director or best script like it's not winning best picture so like what's the yeah. point you know anyway but i so it's just but yeah i guess they're like well hey top gun was nominated go watch the oscars and then big movie top gun maverick got people back in the theater and it got avatar 2 and people went to the theater again sure yeah the whale didn't do it I mean, everything, everywhere, all at once did a lot. I mean, they they had a really good theater run for sure. But Tar, mm -hmm. uh, All Quiet was just Netflix. I don't know anybody that saw it. The you know, again, it's just like yeah, it's true. Uh, these things, like the box office wise, uh, nothing against any of these movies, but it's just like yeah, we, we they they feel like maybe they have to do it to to bring people into this world. And again, it's like the, yeah. uh, the 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 weird thing that they're doing as promos. Like the the Oscars run long enough, and then all of a sudden I see like uh, the, the 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 Little Mermaid, Disney's like, hey, let's yeah. put a promo. There was this. there was some definite like, let's get some money. I mean, they they had a Warner yeah. Brothers commercial. I'm like, what what are we doing here? <laughs> like what? Yeah, like, they you did gotta a advertise Brothers. a movie studio like. Come they're on. at yeah um, i guess like dc and i mean look james gunn is is taking it over and he's gonna revamp the whole thing but it's like the first thing i see is like you know uh, uh melissa mccarthy and, and and the the girl that is playing ariel or ariel from from little mermaid I'm right like, mm. why are we talking about this it's it comes out in the summer right like yeah where does it's, this it's, 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 it's a it's a blatant kind of yeah like, like cash grab like ad thing and i was like uh i don't know about this yeah. and um it has nothing to do with the oscars but those snapchat ads were terrifying where they had like all the weird faces they look like oh, that yeah, Momo yeah, yeah. japanese ghost story thing and i was just like wow <laughs> all these people with those face i'm like stop it <laughs> Go away. Yeah, yeah. They had they oh. had a, like I mean I gotta I gotta go back to see that. I did see like one of those ads, but again, it was like the the Little Mermaid. Then WB is like, hey guys, we've been around a long time. You know, it's like di because Disney is so so big with having Marvel and with having all their stuff. It's like they probably need to say to people like we we've done a lot of cool shit too, right? Remember us? Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're Warner oh, Brothers. Man. And then yeah, the whole thing about the 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 museum, which I don't, I actually don't 
that could have been a cool promo because I haven't, I haven't been there yet, but in West Hollywood or around West Hollywood, West LA, there is the big <clears throat> like uh, Academy museum that looks really bad. Yeah. So, something like that. When you're bringing my attention to something that maybe I don't know about then. Okay. But like, I don't need to, I don't need you to tell me how great Warner brothers is like, come on. Right. Yeah. You know, but um, any, um, did you did any surprises for you? I didn't feel like there was, I didn't like think there was any, I, I, I think I texted you. I texted some other buddies, you know, everything everywhere all at once. Get a sweep. It's going to hit at least best, best picture. Um, I was, I yeah. was kind of, I was rooting for a little bit of Hong Chow. Uh, she was in the whale. Um, she's also been in the menu. I actually worked with her, uh, on this little web series called trenches back in 07. It's just fun to see like someone you've worked with that like, you know, is now. Making yeah. Big that was really fun. cool. Let's especially because of the, you know, our hometown or well, my hometown, you moved there for college, uh, Fairfax, Virginia, like just a connection, you know, to that. Yeah. That, yeah. It was pretty cool. And I didn't even know that was her. And I, and then you were saying that and I was like, Oh, wait a minute. I, Cause I had just seen the menu in the theater and I was like, Oh yeah, I saw her in that. Very cool that she got a nomination. Yeah, man. So, yeah. Did you, and now, now going back to everything everywhere, did you, I, you, you like that movie, right? I, think, I did. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it a lot. I don't know if it's something where I'm like, I think the biggest thing, like, uh, of course, the martial arts fan, the big fan of that, mm. Michelle Yeoh, seeing Ki Hu Kwan, uh, Short Round, Data, coming, what? He's in this movie? I guess yeah. it's just like kind of that nostalgia, like seeing Jamie Lee Curtis in kind of a wacky role. Um, I, I, I did like it. I think the editing was crazy. The editor that won, he won tonight too. That's great. Cause as an editor too, it's like, gee, how do you keep all this crap together? It's so much footage. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like, that I, was, I that look was at a, the job. <laughs> yeah, dude. I look at a, a wedding that has 17 hours of footage and I go, Oh, how do I get this down to yeah. 15 minutes? And it's yeah. like, they have thousands of hours or whatever. Yeah. It, I, I didn't love that. I think that that movie could have had some edits. It didn't need to be as long as it was. It didn't start really for me for, I mean, it, it took a while to get it going, Yeah, but I did enjoy yeah. it. I did like it. I, um, I, I really wanted to like it because it looked like it was cool and weird and out there and all the dimensions and, you know, alternate realities but I kind of hated that movie and it's, I, I didn't really like, I just kind of was like, eh, it wasn't my thing, but the fact that it got all the nominations and everybody was raving about how genius it was made me start to hate it. Cause I was like, what are you talking about? And I think I just can't take it seriously because of like hot dog fingers. And I mean, they had, they were sticking things in their ass to get like to different universes. And it's like, it's like, who wrote this? A five-year-old, like, you know, what I mean? stuff, like there's a raccoon on a guy's head. I'm like, it just it just seems so silly. Like, what is this? Like, yeah, there was a lot of yeah seriously. that that I think that those silly parts too. Like, there's the rock that has the eye. They did the eye thing with the, you know, like the kind of funky eye. I yeah, mean, and yeah. It's like I, I I'll be honest. I thought the same thing when I saw like Swiss Army Man, or I didn't even. I don't even think I kept going. It's like ten minutes in. It's like they're farting to get through the ocean. Like you know, yeah, okay, Radcliffe so that's a, that's and a great... Paul Dano. I'm yeah. like. What is happening? Uh, yeah, and it's just that's a movie weird. that I, I, uh, Swiss Army Man. I, I, I don't even think I got through. I think I may have got through like a third or a half of it. I was like, I can't do this. And then all the, when I found out, because I saw everything everywhere and didn't realize it was the Daniels directing it. And when I found that out, I was like, oh, this makes sense. Why so I didn't like it because whatever their like humor is, it just doesn't land for me at all. Because the Swiss Army Man stuff, and I think farting yeah. is hilarious, but just the way they did it, I'm like, this is. So, it, it's so yeah, it's, it's so like silly. it's one of those things where it's like it's hilarious if you if it's off the cuff or it's weird or it happens once and it's like okay, uh, I don't know. I, I again, yeah. I, I I'm on your I'm on your page with like yeah, I didn't even like keep going with that movie because it's like it's just such a big switch or big turn. And for me, even it's like yeah, for me that like you loved like Lynch and Cronenberg and uh, those things. It's like this is kind of that like this is weird and it would yeah. be like that i guess i think like i look at it too where i was like yeah but they also had the the 
like I said before, like the, the martial arts, they have this, you know, crazy idea of a multiverse, which I think mm-hmm. a lot of people are like, this is what, uh, what's this, uh, uh, Dr. Strange should have been of back and forth yeah. and mm-hmm. crazy shit. So I kind of appreciated it for, for that reason, where they were jumping around a lot. And then just the human yeah. story of like, it is really more about like, it's, it, it, of course, everything more or less is a, about a, a, a family. The, at the right. end of the day, the heart mm-hmm. of it is like mom and dad and, and, and daughter that just don't get along got to find each other yeah I, I and i and i can appreciate some of that stuff was good with the, like the how they portrayed the relationships and the struggle with the mom to connect with the daughter and you know the husband was yeah. going to serve her with the force papers and all of that stuff happening and i even thought the rock thing was kind of cool with that with that you know on their the rocks on the cliff or whatever um so there's a lot and, and the fighting stuff was great i just the the martial arts and stuff so there was a lot of things that worked but like it just took me out of it when you have like hot dog fingers and i'm just like what like no you don't need that just the movie was could have been really cool and then you just added all this silliness like well that's the thing and play well well here's the thing you you play devil's advocate the whole idea of the rock was their personalities their people as a rock but then hot dog fears is like well you kind of got to take you know what i mean you got to take it all or nothing it's like if they're just gonna be like she's a movie star and the the husband's the big big huge hollywood star or, you know, I don't know, dude. I, 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 of course, obviously it's all subjective, but to me, it's like, yeah, they're, they're just doing weird shit. And they're yeah. like, this is going to be I, fun. I, I think that's, I think that's what it was. They were doing weird, absurdist stuff to do it. And I was like, this, it just didn't land for me. And where somebody yeah, like David yeah. Lynch does really weird, like, is that supposed to be funny or what? Like he does stuff like that, but I think it's more effective. Like I like it more. Mm-hmm. Whereas this was yeah. like, oh, you're trying to be funny, but that's not funny. Like. You know what I mean? It's just oh yeah, yeah, for like, sure. I don't, yeah. I, I don't know. It's like a style thing. It's like if somebody, if some other director did that, like a farting corpse. It might, I might be in hysterics, but like the way they did it, I'm like, I don't know. I was just like, this isn't. Hey, we we've been saying for for quite a few years now too. The the idea of Hollywood and Marvel and look, every movie coming out in the next whatever year, everything's a sequel. I I, I didn't do like actually writing it down. But if you look at from now, like what just happened with Scream sequel, and then every movie, John Wick sequel, this sequel, sequel, there's no original movie coming out at all yeah. in the next year. Even uh, I think even Jimmy Kimmel said in the, in the telecast, the top 10 grossing movies in 2022 were all sequels or part of yeah. a franchise of some kind. So it's right. like, exactly. Very cool. All right, dude. Well, I guess we'll, we'll do hey it again guys. next year. Yeah. So. Next year, who? Yeah, we'll see. We'll see uh, what the nominees, what the the movies are. Uh, but thanks everybody for listening and watching uh, this episode of the Six Eleven Films podcast. My name is David Groves. Neil McKay. See you on the flip side. Mm-hmm.